Mouse's characters inside you can see the player characters inside um we have to you've got to get very very close yeah. to see them and it's got to be exactly the right light yeah because uh, yeah. obviously you're in a black suit against a black <laughs> spaceship on yeah. a black seat with all the shiny specular highlights <laughs> off the windscreen so yeah yeah, yeah. um but what, what surprises me though is that the diamondbacks are one of the animation and there's no really shiny animations with the clipper because you know traditionally that's where the shiny animations were in Frontier, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Hmm, I shame about that, really. I would like to see more of that, but hmm. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, maybe sometime. But I'm, I'm quite surprised by that. Yeah, bit of a difference. I think Chris is back. Chris is back in the room. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Basically, the Elite Dangerous beta uh, blue screened my PC. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> That's why so it's, it's beta, taken folks. me this long to do a reboot cycle and get Skype back up. Um, yeah, basically it was weird because I tried to go back into because I could hear that people were messaging me um, in in game, and I went back and I was like, oh, the screen isn't moving, but I could still hear the game running. I mean, there was like my engine was like shuffled things, up yeah. and down. I could hear stuff. I could mm. use my keyboard shortcuts, and I could hear the game responding. But basically, the graphics weren't moving. And then very briefly, this message came up saying something about failing to commit a DirectX buffer or something. Um, and then, just, yeah, it's just blue screen. Uh -oh. well, and on Windows 7, so I don't, I don't see blue screens very often. It's yeah. a bit of a novelty. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's what happens in betas, I suppose. I <laughs> we should be frantically filling in the bubble point now, obviously. Well, uh, this is the problem, because it's blue screen. I don't know how to find what I actually went wrong. I have to search around in Windows logs and uh, see if I can actually get some information together. Because no use me saying to them, I had a blue screen without me actually being asked. Microphone this muted. is a very important note for people. There's no point telling them you had a blue screen yeah. unless you can tell them what went wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get that detail. Um, also, also, something we can talk about in another episode about how to best do betas, I suppose, really. How to uh, best fill in those bug reports and all that kind of stuff. I, th I suppose more information is Dancing always better feet. in that case. Raised. That's the only way you can really do it. But there we go. So we were just covering over the topics in the uh, in the main discussion, which is all about power play and the, the highlights we were uh, selecting from that huge, huge change log that uh, we would literally need three or four episodes to go over, I think, on that. It's absolutely crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? Because I, I, I thought of it. There's stuff that you've mentioned that I didn't even know was in the update just because yeah. it is it is such a huge, bewildering list of changes. Mm. I mean, it's fantastic that so much has gone into it. Um, but it really does. It's going to take some time to sit down with it and digest. <laughs> one of my one of my pet hates has been fixed though, which is that if you're approaching a landing pad, as you would be used to be, yes, there's two. Beast! 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 the 
now target directly from the system map. Thank Lord for that. So that's going to make exploration so much better because you can just pick the planet you want to go to and it goes onto the map, uh, goes straight to it as a map marker. Also, you can plan a route to Beast! 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 I am now going to unleash hell, diverting power to weapons. Attracting armaments. All that additional mass of the extra fuel on there, you're going to be harming your jump range for an individual jump. So it's going to be a fine balance. Deploying as something. As far as I've seen so far, there, there's no way of emptying your fuel tank other than flying from there. So uh, that's going to be a bit tricky to manage. The, have, have you guys have seen any of that in the equipment yet? Have you seen that at all? When you, when you get to those regions where it's just nothing but type T terrorists. Beast! 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 <laughs> yeah, it's one of those tricky things. So yeah, so it's going to be... 
going to be interesting that there's further balancing and tweaking you can do to your ship loadout to uh, tweak around with that. I don't know how much useful it would be for uh, traders, for example. Diverting power to requested system. Turning systems to no. Didn't know how close you were. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was, there was no indication that didn't you have a kill count and people knew what numbers were. In what, in the earlier games? In, 80, in Elite 84. Oh, I'm not sure about the original game, but in Frontier Elite, I swear you just, you couldn't see it. I mean, you had a rank and that was practically it, I believe. Okay, maybe you didn't have a, you've killed 7,000 people or whatever. I think some of the, like, oh, oh, Elite, uh, uh, Elite, um, mods that have come in later today, I think they give you that kind of indication, and people have things where you can edit the save game files and stuff like that I've seen in recent years, but I don't recall the older games giving you that visibility. I do remember when I started off doing the live streaming that um, I had no indication whatsoever, I literally had pen and paper next to me, and I was kind of roughly counting the number of kills, because I knew the level. 